Hi, my name is Charles. I'm Isabella. Hi, my name is Ty. I'm 11 and a half years old. I'm 13 years old. I'm 10. And I got to see the musical Anastasia on Broadway. Dancing bears, painted wings, things I almost The story begins with the Romanovs, the Russian royal family, getting killed by a group of revolutionaries who want to form a communist government. Was Princess Anastasia killed along with the rest of her family during the Russian Revolution, or did she somehow survive? Years later, two con men, Dmitri and Vlad, decide to hire an actress to pretend to be the Grand Duchess. The girl they find, a girl named Anya who suffers from amnesia, may be the Grand Duchess Anastasia. So she, along with two friends, or two friends that she made because they try to make her pretend to be Anastasia, she learns all about herself. In order to claim the reward that her grandmother is offering, Dmitri and Vlad are astonished by Anya's resemblance to Anastasia. She recalls some details and events that had not been taught to her. There is definitely some question. Yes, I've seen it many times. I have seen the animated movie countless times. I was thrilled to see it on stage. The film and the musical are very different. I liked how the musical had more songs than the movie and also provided a more realistic take on the myth of Anastasia. I love the song Journey to the Past, which I sing all the time. Well, I mean, I loved all the songs, but Journey to the Past is always a classic. I also liked Gleb's voice, played by Max von Essen, so basically all of his scenes. My favorite song in Anastasia is easily The Neva Flows. It says a lot about the whole point of view of communists at that time and about the character's point of view. The music is very emotional and so are the lyrics. The music in the show is beautiful. My favorite character was Gleb, the Russian policeman. The actor who I saw play in Max von Essen did a great job, brought the exact right amount of every emotion to the character, and it moved me, all of his materials. My favorite character was Anya, played by Christy Altamore. Her voice is beautiful. I love Anastasia because, I mean, She's the best. And she made really intense acting choices that didn't seem staged and made the story very clear to follow. I really admired her courage. I also want to give an honorable mention for my favorite character to Vlad, played by John Bolton, who is an excellent comic singer and actor. I think Dimitri in the movie was very, like, um, kind of bland, and he was a lot more selfish. In the musical he was like a lot nicer and he was a lot better in my opinion than the movie and I loved him too. The moral of Anastasia is that people are more important than wealth. The reason Anastasia is going to the Grand Duchess is not to claim the reward so much as to find her true identity. The moral of the story is to never give up hope. The moral of the story was follow your dreams even if people say not to. The Empress hopes to find her granddaughter again. Anya dreams of knowing who she is and Dimitri and Vlad are determined to get to Paris for a better life. Well of course it is a a children's movie. Anastasia is beloved by many, 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 many children. Other kids would love Anastasia, especially kids who are 10 and above who might take a deeper meaning out of it than kids who are below that age. Even though there are some aspects of it that could be scary potentially, I mean, it's not that bad. <laughs>
The songs in it are fun for kids, and kids will come out singing them, especially Journey to the Past and Once Upon a December are favorites of a lot of kids. Kids would love Anesthesia for its great music, story, and costumes. Also, if you like the movie, the musical is perfect for you. I definitely recommend taking your kid to this musical. All ages will get something different out of it. Magical. Mythical. Incredible. Let this be a song.